fun project making our computer able to see the ducks the ducks in this duck shooter game so this will in, will be also you can see it as an introduction to computer vision in a practical way okay so this duck shooter game you can get it you can open it from greenwing.org slash games slash duck dash shooter basically let's see the game so you see these are the ducks that we want to uh, detect tech to make our computer able to detect see that sometimes it's seeing to the left sometimes also it sees to everything sees to the left today sometimes it's, it will see to the right one of these days now nah, there it is okay so that's basically what we are going to do make our computer able to detect the ducks and then we will uh mark it down when we uh, detect the ducks with some red rectangles okay now how to approach this problem how to make uh, the computer able to see the ducks the idea whenever we want to detect something is actually to find a pattern in the duck how to define a duck because the duck itself if you notice they have different colors in the hat different feather colors different feather patterns so what is the same with out of this all ducks that's the, the the thing that we need to to think about when we do a computer vision how can we simplify the definition of ducks but the simplification still kept the the, the features of the duck quite distinct with not the other surrounding part of the ducks like the the what you call it the the trees and so on okay how to make it still able to distinctively define the ducks but make it simple enough so first of all we need to be able to capture the screen in Mac in order to capture the screen you will need this command command plus shift plus four so what happened when you do a command plus shift plus four is you will have this and then what you need to do when the ducks coming in you just take a screenshot of it okay for me i already prepare a screenshot of the ducks this is the blue ducks okay then i also have another the red ducks now let's think about it what are the things that is similar with these ducks but distinctive enough in terms of the things that is similar there are two things that I took in notice first is the big if you notice the big are all same pattern and also have same color sounds nice right the second one is the eyes if you notice the eyes are all drawn like this it has this kind of circle that line in the middle that uh, black color in the in that as the ball of the eye but the eyes is actually having some different colors because this is blue this is red right which one do we choose turns out this is actually a trial and error uh, when I first doing this actually I choose the big but turns out big is not a good feature because the big although it has the same color yellow but mostly the there is not distinctive pattern in it there is not a uh, big differences in the lines of it while the eyes the eyes have this uh, two circles and that middle line that make it distinctive enough that's why uh, when i'm trying this i find out that using the eyes is better to simplify the duck it's make the duck simpler but it's also a better detection features feature to be detected and then after we decide that part of the duck that we want to take we do another screenshot of the eye okay one thing to be really really careful about this step that you don't do zoom in zoom out 
you have to keep the size of the duck the same with the size of the screen that you later on want to detect. So when you screenshot it like that, and then you got the duck picture, don't zoom in, don't zoom out. Keep the same size. Because in this logic, we will make simplification to the problem that we don't have different size when we want to detect it, okay? After doing that, after getting the eyes, we need to do another thing, which is to flip it to the other way because the duck, if you notice in the game, it can go, it can face uh, these two uh, directions. And to do that in Mac, what you need to do is just to use the default uh, image opener in Python, image previewer, go to the tools and click flip horizontal. So at this point, we already make the definition, simplified definitions of what a duck is. The duck is represented by the pattern of their eyes. And then we already prepare four different eyes. Now, why do we need the red one? Why don't the blue one is enough? Because that also comes out actually after I'm doing trial and error. First, actually, I'm only using the blue duck, but somehow it always fail to detect the red duck. The reason why it fails to detect the red duck, uh, I suppose, is because the red color is very contrast compared to the blue color. That's why I'm preparing an extra set of eye, which is the red eye. That's why now we have four eyes to, rep to, 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 to represent all the ducks in the game. After having all this data prepared, let's start with the code. For the code itself, we need uh, two external libraries, which is the OpenCV and PyAutoGUI. OpenCV host is a library that hosts a lot of uh, computer vision, processing, algorithm, and detection. While PyAutoGUI is actually a library that will give you the ability to do screenshot, clicking, your to do mouse click, and so on. So those the two things and how to install it, we can do pip install. File, uh, this is the way to get the OpenCV, open in, pip install OpenCV dash Python. While for PyAutoGUI, do pip install PyAutoGUI. For me, I already did that, so I won't do it. While after that, we first set the PyAutoGUI pause dot uh, equal to zero to remove the called cooldown uh, the default cooldown from the PyAuto GUI so that we can later on do a faster screenshot and then after that we prepare our data just now we already collect the data to define uh, duck in a simple way and then this is the relative uh, path to the eye uh, images after that we will process it to get the data this is the cv2 im read is to read the the file the i file and then store it in this template uh, variable another thing we need is actually a gray version a gray color version of that template basically we use the cvt color to convert it from rgb to gray this is just a convenient step to store the width and the height of the picture Okay, and then all of that is stored in a dictionary and then we collect it all into this list. So we will have these four sets, the essential part, actually these two parts, which we later on going to use in the OpenCV algorithm to do the template matching. So this is the template, or well, the template of the duck. Okay, after that, we need to prepare the window. Basically, we want to limit the, the, the area of the screen that we want to screenshot. Why want to limit it to simplify the amount of thing that we need to process. We want to make this simplification, especially to uh, lower down the computation needs in order to do this problem. Okay, and how to do this, uh, to get this dimension, this will be different from my computer to yours. So you have to do this step. 
that actually do the manual measurement. What we want to measure is basically this window. We will limit our screenshot to this window. In order to do that, you need to, uh, we will use this. Okay, we will use this, the help from PyAuto GUI. So let's run a Python interpreter, type Python 3 there. Then after that, we will do the import PyAuto GUI and sys. The import sys is because we need to define the platform of the sys. This sys, as far as I know, only, uh, only needed if you are doing this in macOS where I'm doing it. Um, for Windows, actually I don't have Windows laptop, so I don't know, but maybe you don't need. Try without doing the sys.platform initialization first and do the PyAuto GUI display most position directly if you are in Windows. If it fails, usually there will be an error and you can look into Stack Overflow to find why, how to fix it. Or you can just leave a comment down here. I'll help you on that. Mm, I wish I can, but I don't have Windows laptop. <laughs> uh, then pi auto GUI dot display mouse position. So basically, this will print out our mouse position in the terminal, and that's how we know uh, what to actually what is the sizes of the window. So we need the X, the Y, the width, the height. In order to do that, we go to the picture. We prepare the terminal. Put it down here, minimize it. And then we do to the, uh, this part of the, of the window. And then remember that 5, 2, 3, 3, 3, 7 this part basically okay once again five two three 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 seven in my case what was it maybe for me i will lower this down further why because later on we will we will print out what the computer see here okay because of course if we don't show what the computer see how do we we check as a human that the computer really see it, right? So let's redo it. This will be one, five two four four one one. So that will be the X and the Y. Five two four four one one. Then how do we get the width and height? To get the width and height, actually we will need to measure this part. That will be one two. Seven one eight three four. One two seven one eight three four. Two seven one eight three four. Then after we got all the numbers to get the width on and height, obviously we can just do this. Minus Five to four. Well, for this one is eight three four minus four one one. Okay, so that's how you got the dimension of the, the the screen that you will you want to screenshot. Then this slip is just to to prepare later on because we will move around the things. You, you feel free to remove this slip part. For me, I just put it there. Then what is actually we need to do after we have the template. So at this point, we already have the template of what a duck is. We have already the dimension of the part of the screen that we will screenshot. Then this is the main logic, okay? Uh, we do while through, so it keeps on looping. And then this part is where we took a screenshot. We use PyAutoGUI screenshot. And then we will store the resulting screenshot in this uh, in this part. Okay, this is where we're going to store the screenshot under the name image.png. And then this is the dimension that we just now measured. We use it. So this is telling, hey, 
please screenshot this area. After that, we will use OpenCV again to read the image and load it here. And then what happened is we will convert the image from color into gray. That's why RGB to gray here. Remember, we also did the same with our uh, dark eyes. Okay. Now, after we uh, we screenshot, we read it, and then we convert it into a gray color. The next thing we do is actually we we prepare for uh, the we we do the looping one by one the template of the eyes that we loaded just now into that the image that we just do a screenshot and do we to do that we do the cv2 template so for each eye template eye of the duck we do the match template and then what happened here is it will <coughs> we will load the image which is this one the one that we screenshot and then which uh, we, we we load the template which is the gray color one the the one that we converted the 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 eye eye image that we converted to gray color and we will use this method so there are a lot of method for match template for but for this one we use the tmcco eff norm okay after that we use the min max log this is basically returning uh, the minimum value and the maximum value that is found that is found to be matched during this matching uh, process okay and of course what we need is really the max value this is uh, telling us what is the max value of matching that we can find and this will be the location in the screen throughout this is also need a tuning in my case uh, I need a threshold of 0 0.7 if it is red while uh, wait, 0.7 if red not in oh actually the 0 0.7 if it is not red dark if it is not red color while if it is the blue one I need a higher threshold okay and then the, this threshold is basically uh, to be compared with the score of the matching the max matching when the max matching score is greater than threshold that's what we say okay this is good enough to be say that this is the duck that's basically what it is and then this is actually um, this counting is actually just for uh, debugging you don't really need this to, 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 to do to do the, the, the eye detection this is just for me to do the uh, debugging how many duck actually being spotted and then this is the part where we draw a rectangle to replace the area where it is matched so we know that which part that actually the, the computer actually detected well so to do the rectangle just lost the image and then the max location and then we uh, the this first point second point the second point we add the max location uh, max location will be x and y which is represented by the 0 and 1 index and then we add the width and the height so that's where we use the width and the height that we have just now okay so and then this is the color 0, 0, 00255 is an RGB color where to, this will give us the red color okay and the thickness negative one means uh, when you say negative one is make it filling the rectangle so we will cover the eyes with uh, red rectangles and we do this looping for all of it we keep track when to break the while loop because this is a while loop where we actually what you call it we actually need to while loop just for making it uh, make sure that we color it first after we color everything that we can detect only by then then we quit this second while loop that's what the while loop is needed because what we want to do is we want to detect first after detect we draw it after we draw it uh, we notice whether we already uh, whether we detect anything or not if we don't detect any more eyes it means we already 
uh, have everything okay that's why we can uh, loop and do uh, quit the inner loop to do another screenshot now after doing all this detection and then coloring what we do here is actually we will print it out into another window that's why we do this cv2 uh, resize first to resize the image that we just screenshot and modify where do we where did we do modification this modification coloring the rectangle to the places where the computer detect the eyes okay and then after that uh, we resize it to 40 for 40 300 so it will be a small window and then we will name the, the that small window using I am show we name it with vision and then this is the weight key okay to key uh, to 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 delay it a bit a bit and then after that we this is just a debugging part uh, the count one but the two break is checking whether we need to already do another screenshot so the two break once again happening when we no longer see anything that is matching so that's it for the code actually once again the code is basically doing a screenshot uh, try to match for each of the eyes we have and then we color it with rectangle then we show it this is the part where we show it okay then to do this after all of that we'll just need to I think I have already saved it python3 then the name of the file this will run the window let's wait for it okay it's showing up you see now it's looking at the computer then let's see if it looking it doesn't want ah there it is okay we can see that it's looking at the picture well let's run the duck oh my okay let's see whether you can see the duck why why does the screen okay then i will try to make this smaller and then can i move this oh. How to make this okay? And okay. Hopefully, it works now. Let's adjust it a bit. Let's see the duck. You see that? That red colors. This is how uh, the computer sees the duck. See that? Sometimes it detects, sometimes not, but most of the time it will detect it well. There you go. Ah, finally it can see it. This one. Oh, that one is missed out. This one able to see it. Cool. But it never goes to two ducks yeah let's see whether it can perform if there are two ducks this is just one ducks oh there you go two ducks yes it's able to detect two ducks 
okay so that's also if you want to try to tune it out and uh, think about how to maybe make more samples source of data for the ducks or try to play around with the threshold use more uh, ducks sample with different colors to make it what you call it uh, better detect so if you see this most of the time we can see the duck but there are times when it uh, there are one ducks that for example that we miss out and so forth right so that's the the things that you can do to actually improve your computer ability to actually uh, detect the duck in a better way there are some ideas that you can do so that's it that's actually a basic idea to actually you can see that it's very simple right with this open ship and so forth the the the, the weight heavy weight lifting is actually already there what you need is you just need to be creative in order to find out how to make the detection simple and then better for me i'm using two eyes maybe you can try later on to actually use three eyes through three different dark colors or if you want to you can try to find a different uh, features of the ducks to be detected rather than the eyes so that's where you can play around you also can play around remember with the threshold right so that's it hopefully it is fun for you if you have any question please um, just put it in the comment if you like this give me a like button if you have any more idea you want to have about this kind of things just let me know okay thank you for listening in bye